It's a unique concept in fundraising, to say the least. These professional matches, as they are called, draw unusually large crowds all over the southeast coast. Last week's card at the Craddock High School gym was no exception. Over 1,200 people paid between five and six dollars a head to see the action. But it's doubtful you'll ever see a crowd like this at any of the school's athletic events. It's a shame that the kids and the uh, fans, especially the parents, will come out and see a wrestling match like this when our own students are not supported by the parents and the uh, school in a whole. They have to resort to, say, gimmicks. Right. All these gimmicks we need for athletic support. Last week's unusual idea was the brainstorm of Mr. Carlton Dowdy, Craddock's work-study coordinator. Dowdy found pro wrestling to be a successful venture in Louisa County, where he previously worked, so he tried it here. Craddock made between $15 and $1,800. The idea is slightly unorthodox, but Craddock principal Dr. T.M. Cherry says, as unorthodox as it may be, it's a necessity. It, it may be uh, unorthodox, but we have to try to seek out any ways we can to raise funds for our athletic program because we uh, do need the funds. How serious is the problem? Uh, quite serious. Uh, our school is probably uh, running a deficit each year in our athletic program of around six to seven thousand dollars. So uh, we're working very hard to eliminate if we can and to reduce the deficit as much as possible. In 1976, Craddock's athletic department deficit was almost $7,000. In 77, it dropped to just over $5,000. Last year, it was almost eight. Money has to be raised or interscholastic athletics will die. Our school board uh, will have to take a very close look at it in terms of uh, where we go from here if we don't get more financial support from the community. Uh, most of our schools are engaged in various kinds of fundraising activities to supplement the athletic budget. And, so, that's, what, and that's what we're doing.